as you enter the Test of Valor. You should almost always aim for the two rocket, rocket, uh, mechanical rocket guys at the beginning, and you'll take those two out really easily. I believe there's 25 rocket guys, or maybe 50, and then there's um, 50 bugs, I think. Now, what you don't really need to be careful about, I mean, the rocket guys are a threat, but the biggest threat in this are the bugs. The bugs are not the normal bugs, they're upgraded bugs, and one hit from them will take you to almost no life. It is ridiculous how, how hard they hate you. But what you're going to do is you're just going to run around and you're going to try to take out the rocket guys when they're lined up in a line. And you're going to use your sight ultimate and you should take them both out. So as you can see there, I took them both out. And then you're just going to keep doing this, get them in a line, take them out if you can. Once they're done, you get free farm on the bugs. You can because they are really slow, you can just sit there and farm essence off of them. And essence is good. Don't be afraid again to use your Nimpo. One fire Nimpo will take these guys out, these rocket guys out. So use, use it whenever you got it. No harm in using what what the game gives you. You should not need to use items on this though. There's no reason to use items. You want to be careful too. You tr try not to jump uh, when the bugs are around. They will take you out pretty quickly, especially if you're not able to block them. And since they're most likely going to be swarmed, if one jumps on you, you're probably going to get another one jumping on you as well. When you're aiming your... Nimpo, try to aim for, make sure you get both the rocket guys in sight, that way you don't waste it on the bugs. I do not believe it kills the bugs in one hit. I believe the bugs take two Nimpo. Other than that, this should be a fairly simple test of valor. I'm not speeding this up because it's actually really short test of valor. It's only about 10 minutes long, so as compared to some of the other ones, which are like 30, 35 minutes. And I think there's one more that'll probably be about maybe an hour. I don't know. It's been a while. I haven't even attempted it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's fairly difficult. But alright, as you can see, we're done with the rocket guys, now we just got the bugs. The bugs are easy, just wait for them to come to you, and then start charging. And th these should be easy because they're so slow you can get away and refill your health, or let your health refill to the red. So I'm just going to let you guys watch, and... When I come back, we will finish up what is left of this really simple chapter.
Alright everybody, I'm back. Sorry, I guess I misspoke. This is the... that was the fifth test of Valor. And we're gonna jump right into the action here. Just come up, open the door, and start back over here. Wait for them to come to you. I'm gonna be tempting my technique with the scythe again. There it is. That was the thing I've been trying to do the entire level. I just love the way it looks. And it takes out some of the enemies that are right beneath you too, so it's always nice. We're gonna equip our dragon sword. There's gonna be a rocket guy here to our left. Just don't try not to take damage. Unfortunately I did, but it's okay. There's gonna be one more over here, so go ahead and take him out. And there's no flying swallows, so that was awesome. Alright, we're gonna equip our Tonfa. The Tonfa will tear these guys apart. Just be careful that you don't get shut outside the door. If you do, you're gonna be in trouble. And you won't be able to go back to that chest that I skipped. So, before you finish these guys off, make sure you're back inside or the door will shut on you. As you can see, the Tonfa is just obliterated these guys. There, I almost dodged out of the door. That would have been bad. There's that chest that we skipped at the beginning. That's red essence. I obviously didn't need it. So, you know, you can get it if you want it. Or don't want it, you can use your Nimpo to take those guys out. Here, I'm going to upgrade the Tonfa. You can see I had 38, 380,000 and I'm up to 44, four, four, 440,000. Sorry, I can't talk. And now I'm back down to 40,000. So after all that I just did, upgrading the scythe at the beginning and upgrading the tonfa at the, toward the end, I've made 140,000 essence because I'm 20,000 more than what I had when I finished upgrading the scythe. So again, here we go, going down a lift gonna charge the site, gonna get a few of these guys. Now this is where that one technique I told you about at the very beginning of the game comes in handy. It's the heavenly justice to, to, um, to a UT or a um, oh my god I'm drawing a blank. E.T. E.T. or U.T. <laughs> wow. It's X plus A Y A Y with the Tonfa. And that Y, if there's essence in the air, it will pull the essence in and you'll instantly do a E.T. or a U.T. Now those guns do do a little damage.